What up, everybody? Stitcher781 here, and I got another Float Studios gameplay, and it is called Pester. This was the first Float Studios game I purchased and played, and I fell in love with it. It's it, I, it's on any gamer chick's top list. It's just. It's got great reviews, and you'll see why in a second here. This game is great. This game kicks ass. This is like all the old school with some new school. And, oh man, this is just a good game. Check this out. We're playing classic mode. I'm going to fix up the background so we don't... Oops. I didn't want to have the scan lines on, but... Oh well, we'll deal with it for this part. You're going to take the scan lines off, but yeah, you can do it the old scan lines, so it looks like you're actually playing it on an old, uh, on an old arcade machine, which is really cool. P, so I can get power up, get some better blasting going on. Oh, yes, yeah, get out of my way. You get out of my way. So yeah, with the scan lines on... As you can see, it looks like it's being recorded off the TV, probably, especially the way I record. So, I'm going to show you this real quick like this, and then I'm going to change it, and then we're going to play it in regular mode. You can change the backgrounds on here, too. Like, the what I was flying on top of, you can change that, too. You can customize just about everything. It's really cool. I'm going to beat this first box here, and then I'm going to change it up for a minute. And we'll start over. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that on purpose, just so you know. Find that, okay. Really? Boom. Kill me. There you go. Alright, game over. Let me show you this real quick. Be for main game. Alright, so, basically what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to do plastic again, now I can change the scan lines, take them off, and it looks a lot clearer now, doesn't it? Change the music. What we got on here? That's pretty crazy. I can unlock more music. It's arcade ambience. Decent. Breaking through. I think I like Drifted the most, actually, because it's got that most bumpity bump type of sound to it. And in the background, as I was telling you, look, you got Deep Space, Moon. Uh, I gotta unlock these ones. City. Sky. Let's do City. I like City. So basically you just fly around, shoot at everything that comes at you, collect the coins, and you want to collect the coins because, see that little bar at the top? You want to fill that bar up and to where you get your hyper shot and then you get a super crazy blast like you saw me do on that last play. So that's why I'm a little coin crazy when it comes to this game. <laughs> I'm always trying to get all the coins so I can get Hyper Blast. That's what you want to do. I mean, right? Blow everything up. Destroy everything. Come on, get that Hyper Blast. There we go. Destroy everything. Just like that. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Back to base, dicks. So I like to play this game with a D-pad because the D-pad seems to, I don't know, I, it, I'm able to avoid things a lot easier. Unlike when I play with the analog stick, when I play with the analog stick I end up, I tend to just run myself into the bullets a lot easier. So I get more twitchy. Which, this is all about twitch reflex anyway because of stuff like that, so... 
I mean, there's sometimes where I'll actually switch between, like, I'll play certain parts with the analog stick and sometimes with the D-pad, but for the most part, I prefer the D-pad for this. It's just a lot easier for me. Oh, man, there's so much on the screen right now. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's getting pretty crazy, guys. Ah, oh, see? Stupid analog stick. That's what happens when you use the analog stick. Tell me. Stick to the D-pad. Like this. Holy crap. So, yeah, this is an awesome game. I played a game earlier today that I recorded, and I didn't. I wasn't having fun. It was making me angry. I got done, I had to have a cigarette. Like getting into a fight with somebody. No matter what you said, you just keep losing. It's like that's that's what the game reminded me of. It was just like a never ending like losing battle. I did not like it. I was not having fun. So I decided that I wanted to play something good, something fun, something that'll be more entertaining. Because I think these games are the best type of games to play. Especially in my spare time. I play a lot of top-down, sh like, space shooters and bullet hells. I like the challenge. I love a good challenge in a bullet hell. Oh, man. So, yeah, the other games I've played by Flump Studios, uh, Super Killer Hornet and Super Killer Hornet Resurrection, were... Kind of similar to this, except that there was math involved. This, there's no math, so I get a lot longer of gameplay out of it, probably. Not a good math person. I suck at math. What can I say? Well, I am good at this. This game is fun. Holy crap. See, I really can't wait to see what else Flump Studios um, puts out, like, you know, over the, over the next couple years. Hopefully they, do, hopefully they do more stuff for Xbox Live Indie Games. I would love some more stuff like this. Because the guy obviously knows what he's doing when it comes to making a bullet hell space shooter. He knows exactly what somebody like me is wanting in a game, because... This is just, oh man, this is so fun, this is so relaxing, blowing everything to hell. Boom, bitch. Right. Boom, baby. Uh. Oh, oh, I can't believe I did that. Why did I do that? Oh, why did I do that? Stupid asteroid, get out of my face. Got my face, asteroid. No! Holy crap! Oh, how was I supposed to avoid all that? Look at all these asteroids. Boom, get out of my face. No, don't get yourself in the corner. Don't do that, no. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jesus. No, no, no. Okay, back to the main menu. Alright, we're going to try another mode. Show you guys another mode. There's different modes. Let's try arcade. Now we're going to play... Oh, we got boss survival mode unlocked. Let's try survival mode. And I'm going to change that. Change the music. And let's change the little spaceship. Yeah, you can change your spaceships, too. So right away you start off with full power in this. You don't get the hyper shot, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. So yeah, lots of different modes on here, and for for a one dollar indie game, I mean, you can't ask for much more than this. This is a great, great game. There's a reason why this has gotten such good reviews from other people too. I got this before there was any reviews out really about it, 
and the reviews that were coming out about it were all good, and I was like, oh man, that's a good thing, because maybe it'll sell better. And that's what you want, you know, when there's good games like this, you want them to sell good because you want the developers to be able to make more stuff. And I'd love to see more stuff from Flump Studios. After playing Super Killer Hornet Resurrection, oh man, I can't wait to see what your next project is, guys. I'm just going to stay away from the bullets, like right here. <laughs> He's almost dead anyway. He's, he's, he's taking damage. There we go. I think I kind of like this background a lot more because there's le I, I can see everything really that's going on screen. Especially like all the bullets and the crazy shit coming after me. Oh, I died. So, now, yeah, one life to live. Let's go and we're going to try one more mode here. We're going to do... Oh, arcade. And do boss survival mode. So yeah, there's also modifiers like expert mode, duo, which let's try duo. Oh. Let's try duo. You have to use both sticks. Let's reverse. Invert no, I don't like inverted control, so we're not gonna do that. What does that do? Expert mode on. Let's see what this does. Just, just to see. I mean, why not? Oh, wait, what? How did I die? I don't even know how I died. Okay, how am I supposed to use both sticks and... How are you supposed to do that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, no. You have to use, okay, you have to push the A button to shoot. So I'm trying, oh, wait, no, wait, can I? I can use the trigger. It says I can use the trigger. Let's try that again. I'm going to try that again. It says I can use the trigger. I tried, but it wasn't letting me do it. So maybe i got to wait. Okay, so yeah, okay, I can use the trigger, and then I'm using both sticks to control both of the ships. Oh, yeah, that's hard. That's really hard, guys. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I'm not good at that. So let's try Tempest Mode. We'll try Boss Survival Mode. Let's turn these off. Go back to normal. Um, we'll change their ship to the Hornet from Super Killer Hornet. Awesome! So yeah, you can hold the trigger to shoot. I didn't realize that. I'm always holding the A button to shoot. What happened? I got hit. Really? I didn't even know I got hit. Let's try it again. I can do this. All I gotta do is not get hit by anything. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, I did it. See, I told you I could do it. Let's see if we can get through this guy. One life to live, man. YOLO. Two down. Oh my goodness. Don't, why would you do that? I don't care that that person's online. Now I can't see what's going on. You're going to get me killed. You stupid people. How dare you get online when I'm playing a game like this. Trying to get me destroyed. I'm just going to hang out in this little corner. And hopefully not get killed. Can we get through this? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I did it! I can't believe I did that! That was awesome! Okay. Why aren't you doing... Okay, die. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Yeah, there was no way I was getting to that guy. So, 
So let's try the last mode. And I think that is Tempest. We'll play Classic. We'll continue with the Hornet. That's a pretty cool ship. Ten seconds to death. Oh, I gotta pick up clocks now instead of coins. I guess I gotta keep the time going. So don't run out of time. This is like Back to the Future on the NES. Collect the clocks. Oh my god. That game's terrible. Back to the Future. Ugh. Oh. Oh, why did I do that? Didn't mean to do that. So yeah, multiple different modes, all different styles. I mean, you get different styles of, of the gameplay. I mean, it's basically the same gameplay, but I mean, you can tweak the difficulty pretty, pretty well. Oh, I'm not doing good in this one. I just do good at the classic mode, I guess, where I'm collecting the coins. That's the only mode I really ever play on this. But I want to do a good game review today. I did the last one I did this morning. The first one I did this morning was not a good, well, I didn't consider it a good game. I got very mad playing it. It frustrated me. I was not having fun. I wanted to play something fun and give you guys a good recommendation. What happened? Oh, I ran out of time. So this is a this is a great recommendation right here. You can't go wrong with this. It's called Pester. It is on Xbox 360 and Xbox Live Indie Game Marketplace, and you can get it for one dollar. So go get it. Buy it. It's good. It's a friggin' great way to spend a dollar. Like I can't think of a better way to spend a dollar. So. Yeah, Pester. Thank you for joining me. I'm Stitcher 781. And yeah, I'll have more up later today, probably. Peace out.